Alright guys, in today's episode, it is Trunk Club Unboxing Part 2. Did our stylist nail it, or did she miss the mark? We'll find out right now. Hello guys, Cindy is supposedly chic, and in today's episode, we are going to unbox our Trunk Club number 2. This trunk is packed full of good stuff, and we're going to break them all down individually but I want to take you back to last month's episode just to give you a few of the high points. What we were looking for specifically from our trunk was the perfect pair of black jeans, the perfect black purse, and the perfect pair of booties. Last month's trunk club was close but not quite on point. The purse we felt was too small. The booties were awesome but they were like a terrible color army green. And the black jeans ultimately were a little too high waisted and they were just uncomfortable to wear so they all went back. I asked my stylist specifically for a couple different versions of the black jeans, a couple versions of the booties, and a couple bigger purses. Okay, what we had last month was a medium Mercer. I was looking for something not so much like a big hobo bag. I like my purse um, to have dividers in it, but I wanted one a little bit size bigger. So let's start with the purses because that's probably the easiest uh, to discuss. So this month my stylist sent me two different purses. One is a Michael Kors and one is a Kate Spade. They are both black. They are both that granular leather that I really like. The problem is they are actually both smaller than the medium Mercer that we got last month that we asked to get bigger. I actually went on the Nordstrom's website and they actually have what they call a capacity, an interior capacity for a purse. The medium Mercer that I sent back last month had an interior capacity of medium. So you would think if I asked for bigger, I would get something that was like an interior capacity of, I don't know, large? Both of these purses on the Nordstrom's website say they're an interior capacity of small. Um, I love them, but there is no way in the world I can put the stuff that I use on a daily basis in either one of these purses. And the price tag on both of these purses would make it a purse that I would have to use regularly. So unfortunately, because they are both very cute, both of these purses are going back and hopefully on our third trunk we will get a purse that is larger. In this month's trunk, our stylist sent us two different pairs of black skinny jeans. The first one is Harper by AG and the second one is Maria by J Brand. First glance they look exactly the same. Um, the AG, the Harper, is a little bit of a heavier denim whereas the Maria feels more like a stretched denim. Um, it has a little more give to it. Uh, both have the, the two pockets in the back, the pockets in the front. If we look at the bottom of the jeans, the Harper has your typical uh, leg that you would normally see with a seam on it. The Maria actually has sort of a, a jagged um, frayed edge on it. N not sure if that works with the black skinny jeans, but what we're going to do right now is I'm going to try both of them on with this top and we're going to talk about uh, the features, benefits, and which one I like the best. Alright, so we have the Harper by AG jeans on right now. Um, right when I put them on, again, I'm, I'm flashing back to last month's trunk. The, the waist is really high, and to be honest, it feels like it cuts in. Um, so, but they, they do fit well. Um, the seam, like we talked about, is just a normal seam at the bottom. They have kind of a nice length, so I can, I'm wearing them with sandals right now, but I can wear them with heels, and they would sort of cover that heel a little bit. Um, but they feel stiff. And the top waistband is a little bit um, annoying, I guess is the right term. So hang tight, I'm gonna put on the Maria's right now. Guys, talk about night and day difference. These are the Maria's, and I'm telling you, it feels like I'm not even wearing pants. They are so comfortable. Look at, I can lift my legs. I mean, I believe my stylist has nailed my perfect black jean. If you can see at the bottom, they do have those little um, frays. And I think I'm okay with that. I, I guess quite honestly, if, if they bothered me enough, I would just cut them off. But gosh, guys, they just feel great on. Um, but not like, I want to say, lower quality black stretch jeans that if you wear them for half an hour, the front part gets all stretched out and then you're sort of stuck with that all day. Guys, these feel awesome. Um, I'm actually, we, we've done the two pairs of pants, so everything else we're putting on is top. These guys are staying on the rest of this episode and maybe quite honestly the rest of my life just saying I'm going to throw on two of the blouses that we got and then we'll talk about the two jackets that we got in just one second all right guys so here's our first blouse this is a utility shirt from J Crew. 
on a side note, I just want you to look here really quick. I also asked my stylist to throw in some pops of color. This is the closest we get to a pop of color. So on that one, she gets kind of a thumbs down. Um, this shirt just doesn't lay well. Look at what we got going on here. Um, it just feels boxy. It is a little longer in the back, which I sort of like, but it just... It's not like it's too big, I don't think. I just think the way it's cut right here... Uh, maybe utility is so you can strap a knife or something under here. I, I don't know, but it's not really working for me. Um, and it's a shame because it is a one piece of color that I did get in this um, trunk. But I, I would have to, uh, you know, I would have, there's nothing I would have to. I, I'm not keeping this shirt. Although I cannot say the same thing for the shirt that I'm about to put on. Let me go put it on and see if you agree with me. See what I mean, guys? I am in love with this shirt. This is um, a Henley by Lush in ivory. And there is nothing about this shirt that I don't like. I like how it hangs. I like how it feels. The fabric is silky without being heavy. I like that it's sort of got the, the tuck up sleeves. Um, it's a little longer in the back. It feels so comfortable, you guys. It's also the least expensive item in my trunk. And I checked Norson's website and it is available in multiple colors. This is the kind of top that I will buy in two or three different colors and just rotate it through my wardrobe because it looks good and it feels good. And that combination makes you feel good. Well, it makes me feel good. Hopefully it makes you feel good also. Um, so there's nothing I can say bad about this shirt. This shirt is definitely a keeper. Now we've gone through the two shirts. We've gone through the purses. We've gone through the pants. I'm going to spend a little bit of time talking about the jackets because I, I hate to sort of spoil it for you, but they were both crash and burns. Um, and then we're going to talk about the booties. So let's look at what they sent me. They sent me a linen um, jacket, which I, I think I would love if it fit right, but I will put it on, but you can kind of see already how large it is. And then folks, I don't know what anybody was thinking by sending this to me. I, I will put it on just so you can laugh with me. I, th there's, there's no description I can, I can give to, to even explain to you. It's like this heavy wool it's like a military blanket. Like my dad was in the Korean War and he had this terribly itchy war blanket that we used to like put on top of, I don't know, trunks and stuff when we stored it in the garage. That's what this is made out of. And wait till you see it on, guys. Wait till you, I'm gonna show you right now. Be ready. Hopefully I don't melt because it is really heavy and really hot. Um, I don't, what, what do I do with this, guys? I, I don't know. I guess I could tie it, and then when I, I don't know, cook my fish tonight, then it won't get in the way. I, I don't know. I, it is, somebody has to buy it because it's at Nordstrom's, right? But this girl won't be buying it. I'm gonna take it off right now because I'm already melting. Um, let me hang it up because that's what we do with things that aren't ours as opposed to my own stuff, which I just throw on the floor when I'm done. Um, let me unzip and talk about this linen jacket. Um, it's, it's, it's a very cool neutral color. When I first saw it, I thought, this definitely has possibilities. Um, and I don't know if it's the wrong size for me or it's just meant to be big. But again, I look like I'm wearing my daddy's jacket. See, see how, see that? Um, it sort of has the pull up on the side sleeves, but I don't know if that's the look that they're going for. Um, it really is way too big, but I just thought, doggone it, if this was more fitted and cuter, um, I could pair, I could pair it with this outfit and like a cute pair of like beige booties or something and like feel like I was really put together, but this is only a large, so I, I can't imagine how much more I'd have to go down to make one that actually fit me. Okay, so, and again, neither one of them have any color to them. This one is definitely a, a neutral beige, and this one is, I don't know, Fargo, North Dakota gray. Not sure. Um, so I'm going to take this off also because it is still very warm. Um, the last thing we're going to do right now is we're going to talk about the booties. So give me just one second to uh, move the camera down a little bit and put on the first pair of booties. All right, guys, so this is the Vince Cavuto Fandra booty. Um, it is completely mesh, which is not really what I asked for, and it's not peep toe, which is not really what I asked for. Um, this is what it looks like on, and I'm not a huge fan. Um, it's also really, really difficult, and I'm not going to take a whole lot of time, I'm just going to show you really quickly. It's really difficult to get on my foot. 
Um, like, there. You see how, how hard that is? Yeah. I don't work that hard for my shoes, people. So these guys are going to be a go back. The second one that we got, see they're hard to get off, um, was by BP. Um, and guys, I so wanted to love these. Look at, they, they, they like just this outfit alone, they would look wonderful. But this one, guys, is not on my stylus, it's on me. I have a really high arch, and I'm gonna show you, but um, I actually can't get these shoes on. The, the size is perfect, but I can't get my foot into the actual toe of the boot. Um, I'm perhaps thinking that I'm gonna go back to my stylus and ask for something very similar to this, but with zippers on either one side or both sides. But let me just show you right now how this works. Um, we get about that far, and then I can't go any further because my arch is too high right here. So again, would have been the ideal booty, but I've got a wacky foot. So both booties are going back. Um, let me go ahead and put the stuff aside and we're gonna come back and just sort of recap our entire trunk. All right guys, so now it's time to wrap up our trunk club unboxing. Um, as we talked about, this top is staying, this top is going. Both of the jackets are going. I haven't taken the jeans off yet, so these jeans are staying. These ones are going. Both purses are going, and both booties are going. So, next month we're going to ask our stylist for a couple of things. A color, the color, not just blue, but color. Um, a couple more fitted tops. <sighs> Black booties that actually have a peep toe that I can get on my feet. And purses that are manageable size for me and all the stuff I put in my purses. I'm gonna recap everything and talk about the prices and then we are going to say sayonara for right now. Um, looking at the bags, the Kate Spade bag is 228, the Michael Kors is 248. The linen jacket is 228. The Maria skinny jeans, i.e. heaven, are 198. The Vince Cavuto booty is 139. The figure out what this is called, guys. It's called boiled wool. Who wants to wear something that's boiled? Not me. The boiled wool jacket is 148. The J. Crew shirt is 79.50. The phenomenal white Henley from Lush that I'm gonna get in every color available is $39. Steal right here, people. Lush Henley. Buy it. You won't be sorry. The BP booties are $89 and then the Harper straight leg black jeans are $188. So guys, this has been awesome and fun. We got to see some progress from last month's trunk to this month's trunk. Please stay tuned because we're going to be doing another trunk next month to see if we can sort of fine tune this a little more. If you have not already, please hit that subscribe button. We're doing clothing unboxings, we're doing food unboxings. There's a lot of great stuff happening at Supposedly Chic and you don't want to miss any of it. Also, please like and share this episode. Share it with your friends. There's a link below that gets you a discounted price on your first trunk. Share it with all of your friends and let me know what you thought of the outfits I tried on. If you've tried Trunk Club, what have you thought? What has your experience been? And just let's just start talking as a community and start sharing and educating people on all of this cool stuff that uh, all of these companies are offering to try and get us to um, sort of expand our horizons a little bit. So guys, this is Cindy at Supposedly Chic, and until next time, make it a good one. Now that you've finished watching the Trunk Club video, here is the link to the Stitch Fix video, and here is the link to the head-to-head. -head. We will see you there. <laughs>